Hey everyone! Today on Cooking with Candyware, I'll be showing you how to make ramen in a small little bowl, so stay tuned! So here are all the tools for making the mold for the bowl and I'll leave them in the description box below. And then these are all the tools for making everything in the ramen bowl. So first we're going to be taking some um, old excess clay and rolling that into a ball. And this is going to be the size of your ramen bowl. <laughs> and then from there we'll be rolling out a small piece of more excess clay and then cutting out a small little um, flat part for the part that the bowl is going to sit on. And I had a small cookie cutter for that. So you're going to cook that according to the clay instructions and then from there we'll be making a mold and I'll leave a link on how to use silicone putty and then you're just going to wrap that around and then cut off the excess as best you can to try and make the bowl as uh, flat on the top for the rim and then you'll let that dry. So while that's drying I ended up making a little bit of nori that I'll be adding on to the very end of the bowl or the very side of the bowl. So the way I'm doing that is just texturing it with a dotting tool and then cutting it out whatever size you'd like. I went for more of like a rectangle shape and then I just frayed the sides with a needle tool and then you can bake that. So back to the bowl. So I'm using some white clay and I'm using a very large dotting tool and then just pushed it in place and then cutting off the excess and then just working with it a little bit more until you're happy with how it looks and then you can bake that. So once you're done, this is what your bowl will look like. So now on to the other things. So now I'm going to be making some green onions and all the, the only way I'm doing that is just wrapping around two different colors of green on a head pin and then you'll bake that for about five minutes. So then once you're done, pull them off gently. And then you can just cut those with a small blade. Next we'll be making the egg, so I'm, I'll be making a cane here. So what you'll do is take some yellow and make that into a snake and then I'm wrapping around a lighter yellow around the original snake I made. And then I'm taking white and then wrapping around the snake you've created. And you want to make it look like an egg shape. And after that you'll be putting in the freezer for a little while. So now I'm going to be making the meat and all I did was some translucent and some red and then I added in some uh, brown. And it doesn't really have to be mixed up all that well. And then from there I'll be taking some translucent and then wrapping it around the meat. And then after that I'll be taking some caramel color with some translucent and then also some brown and then mixing that all together and roll that out and then from there you just wrap it around the meat and then also put that in the freezer. So now this is that little fun swirly thing that's on the side of ramen and I'm just making a pink color for the inside swirl with some white and red and then getting some white. So you want the pink to be thinner than the white piece. And then from there you just roll or wrap it. And then again you'd put that in the freezer and let it rest for a little while. So now on to the noodles. You need to have patience for this because you have to make a lot. But anyways, so the color is just a little bit of yellow and white with some translucent and mixing that all up. And 
and then rolling that out. So you want to make really, really thin snakes. So here I am rolling out the that little swirly thing that goes on the side of ramen. And you want to just take your time and roll it out thin. Like there. And then now I'm rolling out the egg, trying to keep the shape still for the um, oval shape. And always have your bowl on hand so you can test the size to see if you're getting close to what size you need. And now I'm doing the same thing with the meat. And for the meat, I'm kind of just pushing it in corners first and then eventually I'll just place it down on the table and push it down. So once you're happy with the size, you can cut that out. And I cut two pieces out and then I'm just adding on some texture onto the inside and the outside with my needle tool and um, my sandpaper. And now I'm cutting out the egg and then pinching the ends to make it a little round on the end like you cut an egg in half. And then I'm also using a small dotting tool on the very inside to push in where the yolk would be. And now I'm cutting out that cute little swirl. And then using a dotting tool to put the, uh, make it look like a little flower. And now it's time to fill up the bowl. So I'm using some uh, liquid Fimo and then adding on some uh, cream color, soft pastel, then a reddy brown and then a dark brown. So this would be the broth. And then I add on the nori on the side. And now it's time to add in the noodles. So definitely as you go, keep adding a little bit more broth. Now I'm adding in the piece of meat on the side. And the head pin, which I realized had a little bit of trouble holding itself in place. <laughs> then the egg, and then the little swirl flower, and then the little uh, green onions on top and there we go so to hold the uh, head pin in place I just use a lot of excess clay and wrapped it around while it was baking and then once you're done cover everything in glaze and then let that dry so once that's dry you can make it into a finding and then just like always I'm using my flatbed pliers and my round head pliers and then cutting off the excess with um, nail clippers and for the very end I'm going to be adding on some chopsticks and I just use my nail clippers to chop them down and then I'm using some glue to pu put them on the side And there we go. And now I'm adding it onto a necklace. And there you have it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you think in the description box below. Let me know what you'd like me to make next. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My next video will be 